Over the last three to four years, the musical Hullabaloo on the continent has centered around Ama Piano and its inroads into the wider music market. With Tyler winning a Grammy and having a back catalog with Ama Piano vibes there, the serious heights reached by Nige in 2023, then the viral dance challenge of Chualabam in the last few months, we have seen it all. But, but, there's a new genre in town that has gripped South Africa, which is the home of Ama Piano, and has started to grow itself into other markets on the continent, and it's called Three Step or Three Step Afro House. And I'm going to give you the facts about this new genre, where it came from, and a prediction of where it will go. Buckle up, this is the no BS version. First of all, what is Three Step? It's an Afro house subgenre where the beat is built around a sequence of three kicks. Stay with me here. What does that even mean? To simplify it in house music, you usually find a four kick rhythm which goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. However, in three step, the rhythm goes one, two, three, one, two, three. Then you add some claps to it and you get this. One, two, three. One, two, three. You get the picture. It's widely agreed that this sound was first popularized by a South African DJ and producer by the name of Tagzin, who around 2022 blended Deep House, Afro House, Ama piano and Afrotech elements to create this unique house blend. Before that, the sound was birthed mostly on the South African DJ scene from around 2020 to 2021, but because Ama piano was all the talk at the time, it really went under the radar for at least a couple of years. And there's another good reason for that. It was really used as a transition piece for DJ sets between genres like Ama Piano and general house music. What makes Taxin an important piece here is he took what he was hearing and gave it a distinct sound, where he rebuilt the layers to center around the rhythm pattern with the three kicks. This is where the hand claps come in to give part of the sonic signature of three step, where the claps fill up the space where the fourth kick otherwise would be to give it this continuous flow and sustenance throughout. Tuxin also added some unique layers such as the percussiveness of Ama Piano Shakers, which are fantastic in creating tension in the build-up when introduced at the right spot, of course. With the skillful use of uh, the log drum as well, ambient elements of Deep House and Afro Tech, including the types of kicks used, and this is really the template that Three Step is built on. As this movement caught fire with time, there was also an infusion of more traditional instrumentation that would be used to just such as uh, guitars, done in various styles that could be taken from different parts of the continent and so forth. And this is a common tactic in Afro House in general. Taxin's song, The Magnificent Dance, is the one that really is credited as having that template that Three Step is now known for. This song by Taxin was released in early December 2022, but had already been doing the rounds before then. Interestingly, if you go back to Taxin's catalog, the production he did on Nana Atta's Libalele, which was released in September 2022, had strong hints of where his sound was going and fits right into the three-step genre as well. So that one could actually be the first one. Now that you have this backstory, who are some of the producers carrying the three-step genre since it became popular besides, well, Tuxin, of course. We have Lala Tuxin, who had one of the biggest songs of 2023 in South Africa called E-Plan and it's got a nice video on YouTube. You can check it out. One of the biggest three-step songs ever released. And then you have Murder, aka Murder Bongs, who has another huge hit 
Moygan Sun. Oh my goodness. Uh, a cult song. When you go to any house event, this song does the business. And then you have others like Oscar Mbo, who's also on Moygan Sun. Um, Atmos Black, one of the most celebrated when it comes to the three step genre. Heavy K, he's been in the industry since way back when, helping to carry the the sound and making it stand out. You can check the best songs from these three step producers on my three step playlist on Spotify called Three Step Republic. One thing to mention is a lot of these producers are not strictly three step producers, but because it fits into the house side of things, they do produce three step. So do dive into the Three Step Republic playlist and this playlist will give you the perfect introduction to Three Step. Finally, I thought I would give a prediction on where Three Step could go, especially given Amapiano's dominance across the continent and world in the last couple of years. Firstly, I, I believe Three Step will grow bigger as a genre in itself um, in the next two years particularly. What I'm not sure of is that it will eclipse Amapiano. I don't think it will um, in that time, but likely will work best as a fusion with more amapiano -y elements and will remain sort of like a really cool niche under the Afro house and Afro tech sort of genres. It will continue to be popular in house circles and will be taken to more overseas markets with the likes of like black coffee and bigger DJs in that realm and specifically at house music events. But likely three step won't be a big commercial genre on its own but a highly niched success story so you tell me what do you think about three step let me know in the comments below otherwise that's it for me my name is mj omoto son of zimbabwe signing out peace dang dang you are the danger